noticing that the whole fedora in this moment I'm euphoric not because of your phony god but because of my own greatness that's not just an atheist cult thing oftentimes that could be a pagan nerd thing that I had this religious experience and it's not because of your Jew on a stick or all this other nonsense uh, it's interesting to see that that's the exaltation a lot of these people have and it really comes from a place of ostentatious philosophy which let me explain what I mean by philosophy I'm not talking about a bunch of bearded men in a cage saying what is is to quote far west man since he said that in a recent video of his that where he connects stoicism to game and getting women no that's not what it is philosophy back in the day you supply to things like how to do things like you know make money live a fulfilling life dealing with different aspects of your life different challenges different activities in a way a comprehensive mindset if you will an interesting way of looking at each and every challenge and there's a stoic way where you can basically be detached and independent and you won't have to need all these like different institutions or people in your life you don't depend on that I think a lot of people adopt a very disgusting form of that stoicism where they say stuff like well I don't need to depend on a religion in my life it's not very necessary I was dehydrated this whole day you can tell my hair is getting stringy but that's another story I don't need a man if you're a single mom I don't need that to be happy I don't need your religion to be happy except it's not really a stoicism you see stoicism implies that you can have these things but you don't necessarily need them to work for your life uh, to make your life work or to have a nice little being to protect that I mean, that's kind of what far west man talks about a lot in his videos where that's kind of the way you fix western civilization because when you get out of that doom 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 right the tiger mentality you can sort of find ways of improving your life of doing all the things that originally you didn't need to adopt a certain philosophy to get originally you could depend on let's say the state the state isn't just going to make it so that women have an easier time of not needing men back in the day the state isn't going to have something as ridiculous as a 19th amendment or a lot of these little institutions that they're allowing females to participate in like the military the police force now you're seeing a lot more trigger happy cops you didn't have all that stuff and so you know having a family was a lot easier and the religious environment was also a lot better but going on to the ostentatious philosophy and connecting those two together nowadays it's not that people are becoming independent it's that they're gradually trying to avoid 
anything that can get them the happiness that they need while still getting that happiness while still getting all those good things I don't need uh, Christianity I could have paganism or I could have this brand of atheism that isn't nasty and nihilistic that isn't a bitter pill to swallow I could have all of that and for nihilists they're an issue too because I find a lot of nihilists will agree with a lot of things that I say or someone like me will say but then when I get to any positive solutions or advocate for anything they might not like no they want to destroy all memes of goodness how dare you try to find hopes and assume that there's a positive force in this world and your false hopes are only, only going to lead you into a path of anguish. You're weak. I always see that mentality where anybody that relies on anything to stabilize them, oh, they're weak people. They're not like me. I, I'm a I'm a paramount of strength because I don't need your phony religion. I'm getting a lot of that ostentatious, that vulgar snark. It's not even condescending, it's just disgusting to be disgusting. And it's called edutarian. But when I hear edutarian, it doesn't go the full mile. Because this is more than just ideology. This is more than just people holding on to dumb memes. This is an entire lifestyle that they involve themselves on this whole I don't care kind of way of exploring everything you see it in the way that they live their life see it in the way that they treat other people it's vulgar it's pretty much that it's a very surly and unlikable way of moving on or going, directing your life, basically. And I really don't like it. It annoys me. It's a pet peeve of mine. And because of that, I figure that we need to get out of this mentality. So I'm going to be vulgar and disgusting kind of mentality. And I always wonder what is it in people that makes them think this way? Because sometimes it's not just the fact that they want attention. A lot of people have ridiculous vegetarian beliefs simply because they want the attention. But other times people really do hold on to this as a lifestyle, as a way of thinking. The euphoria, the exaltation that they experience, and they kind of act like it's akin to an orgasm or the quickening, it's not just something you read about in a freshman level philosophy book it's something you live and the best part is that we already have all the philosophy and the ways of looking at the world that can prevent this nonsense this idiocy we already have that and you know what it is most of you at least. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick.